you guys. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is a step up. Listen, that's good news for you. And it's most certainly good news for me. Because step up means what? That you're about to reach something that you weren't able to reach before. What did God say in his word? He said he will cause our enemy to become our what? Our footstool. You know what a footstool is. It's that tiny stool that allows you to step up so that you can reach things that you couldn't normally reach on your own. And God is saying he is about to make the enemy become your footstool. Yeah, the enemy's over there dancing in your face, talking about you behind your back, lying on you, stabbing you in your back, doing a whole lot of stuff. And it's trying to put you in a space of fear, trying to put you in a space of anxiety, trying to put you in a space of de depression, trying to put you in a space of doubt. And I'm telling you, these are key signs that God is about to bless you real good, that you're about to get a step up. That's what the enemy does. Just when he see the package is about to arrive at your doorstep, he will jump in and say, ah, oh, pay attention to me. Uh, don't look at the mailman. I know he got what God called you to be doing half, but look at me. I'm trouble, I'm infirmity, I'm sickness, I'm that lie that been told on you. Focus on me. And if you start focusing on the enemy, then you won't see that God has your package ready for you. You won't see that the enemy has to bow down to God. Therefore, when he bows down, you step up. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. So don't pay it no mind over there. Let me tell y'all something that used to happen to me all the time. Every time God was about to bless me, I will always get a sensation of nervousness. Not the nervousness of like, oh, okay, open the curtain, open the door, I'm ready to see what God has for me. No, it was the nervousness like, oh, what could be wrong? The enemy will always come at me with anxiety, shakiness. And every time I feel that pal palpitation on my heart, I will start trying to figure out what was wrong instead of thinking about what was right. And that's how you'll know it's of the enemy. That if you're feeling nervous over there or anxious and you're thinking about what's going on wrong or what's what, what went wrong, then it's not of God. That's the enemy telling you to be distracted. That's the enemy telling you to be distracted. Because God got the mailman right there with your package. And the enemy is over there saying, no, don't look at the mailman. Look at me. I'm your distraction. I'm sickness. I'm doubt, I'm fear, I'm the lie they telling on you. Focus in on me. Because if you focus on me, then you won't notice that your package is ready for you to receive. And if you focus on the enemy, you won't be in the state to receive. Which means what? You won't be in a state of gratitude. You won't be in a state of thankfulness. Which means what? Thanking God that he has done it and that it is ready for you. Therefore what? You won't pull it in. Because it's already ready. So I'm telling you, God said, footstool today. The enemy is about to become your footstool. He is bowing down to the will of God so that you can step up to receive what you couldn't reach before. And y'all, I have a step stool. I do. I have a footstool and it's in my closet. My footstool don't just have one little step. Mine have three steps. So God never said how many steps you'll have. Because sometimes the enemy can show his behind. And God said, well, I'm going to give you three levels to step up. Which means, what? Well, people are going to be looking at you like, how in the world you got that? How, how you get that? Which means, what? Well, it's going to be so big to where God's going to cause you to skip steps. Where you're supposed to get the first step, God is going to say, go on to the next level. The next three levels. Go on to the next three levels. Go on. on. Don't worry about level one and level two. The enemy showed us behind real good in front of you this month. So instead of you going, I was going to put you on level one, but I'm going to put you on level five. Because what he tried to do, I didn't allow it. I didn't allow it. Therefore, I'm going to reward you because you kept my statutes. You kept my commandments. You kept my law upon your heart. You kept in the standard of being upright and righteous. Therefore, forget level one. 
go to level three. Forget level three, go to level seven. Y'all get what I'm saying? You about to get that step up. And when you get that step up, make sure you don't forget to tell God thank you. Because it's only because of him. Because God said he is the one that will deliver us out of trouble. He's the one that will what? Vindicate us. He said vengeance is his. And when God does his vengeance, we always rise. We always rise. We always rise. There's always a step up. And that is what God is about to do for you. I'm excited for you. And I'm excited for myself. Because eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard of the things that God has prepared for both you and I. That's that step up. Going places and reaching places, reaching things that we never thought that we could ever reach. All because the enemy showed us behind and God stood up. He stood up. He lifted up a standard for us and therefore the enemy had to bow down to God's standard. And now we can step up because God has indeed made our enemies our footstools. If y'all didn't hear anything else, remember that. You about to get the way to step up. You about to step up. You about to step up. And people gonna be looking at you like, man, that's a come up. We call it come up, but God call it step up, footstool. It's a come up, which means what? They thought you was gonna just inch your way, but God's gonna thrust you going to thrust you higher than what you could ever reach. Isn't that what he said? He would do exceedingly and abundantly above, above what you could ever ask or think. That's a step up. A step up. Sometimes you can get on your tiptoes and reach stuff, but God said, no. Tiptoes ain't going to do it. I'm going to give you a footstool. It's going to be the enemy's back. He's going to have to bow down to me. Y'all see, I keep saying that because I love it. I love the way God put words in my mouth that I'm not even expecting. It blows my mind. A footstool, y'all. Get ready to step up, okay? Get ready to step up. Get ready to step up. Get ready to reach it. Things that people would have never thought that you would be able to do, you about to do it. Things that you never thought that you would be able to do, you about to do it. Things that people would have never thought that would be in your bloodline for generation increase, upgrade, you about to experience it. You about to experience it. Yes, you are. So keep doing the right thing. Don't pay attention to that distraction. Because that distraction over there, that sickness over there, that doubt, that fear, that anxiety, it's about to bow down. I'm saying it again. It's about to bow down. Because God said when the enemy comes in like a flood, he will then do what? Lift up a standard. He will come in and lift up a standard. Which means what? He's going to take you higher. Which means what? The enemy can't reach you. And why he can't reach you? Because he had to bow down to God. And when the enemy bows down to God, his back becomes your footstool. I said it again. Let me go. Because I'll say that. I'll say that through the, out this rest of this video. I will. That's good, y'all. That's good stuff. And I, God, thank you. Thank you for it. Because y'all, I'm telling you, I don't ever know what's going to come out until I open my mouth. And when I tell you God is blowing my mind, he is. He's blowing my mind every single day. And I'm grateful for it. Listen, I'll talk to y'all soon. But if y'all didn't get this thing, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply it to your life. I mean, apply it to your life, which means believe it. Believe this thing. Believe what I'm saying. Because what I'm telling you is not my word. It's the word of God. Everything I tell you, it lines up with the word of God. Therefore, it's prophecy. I don't like to call her a prophetic word. Because people are like, well, she calling herself a prophetess. Listen, God said you prophesy according to the words according to your faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if I'm telling you nothing but what the word of God say, you better apply it to your life because it is indeed a prophecy. It is prophetic. Apply it to your life. Apply it to your life. And watch you'll see it come to pass. Because God's word doesn't lie. It will not lie. It will perform. It will. Okay, I start talking again, but let me go. Take this word seriously. Footstools, you about to step up. You about to get a come up all because you stepped up. Okay, let me go, let me go. Y'all, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Oh, I ain't said my part. If you didn't get it, rewind it, watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling, apply to your life to the rest of your ability, you are ever, 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 ever have the massive smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Now, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.